Oh, you want to hold one? Yeah, hold this one here. Hold that. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? It's a smile on the face. Let me see. So let's finish. Uh, and I'm anoint the rest of these bills because I don't want the other ones to get jealous. <laughs> and say, he anointed you but didn't anoint me. Everybody say with me, I walk around with anointed money. I walk around with anointed money. And do you want one too? Do you want one? I'll let you pick one. Which 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 one you want? That's good. God bless you. Thank you. Let's give my children, give my grandchildren a hand. <laughs> God. Now we are anointed this morning. Prophet Ralph Boyce, you still there? Oh, yes, Master Prophet. I even anoint the credit cards. You even anoint your credit cards. You done took it up to the next level. Let me see oh, how many yes, people are, yes. let me see how many people are still on the line with us right now. The number of participants in the conference is three hundred and fourteen. 314. Prophet Skelly, they are still hanging in there with us? They're under the money spell, Master Prophet. Ooh, Shabasa. Should we bring Fitz Ray behind that? We better leave that alone. We better leave. Yes, Your Grace. The money thumb caused the money to come. Oh! oh. Hey! 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 hey. hey. <laughs> yes, Prophet Thompson. That's just like saying the money spell is the true gospel. Ooh, Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Everybody say money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. You know, I remember Rem and I used to have us start chanting about money. Making money, money, 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 making money. You know, that's what God wants to bring in your life. He's bringing to you money, making money ideas. And it's getting ready to happen for you. Say it, man. It's getting ready to happen for me. Now, so we now. What did we just do in that exercise? What did we just do in that treatment? What we did, we cultivated just now a feeling of money. We connected you with your money. We got you to get some oil in your hand, pull your money out. Because one of the things, remember when Jesus got ready to multiply the fishes and loaves? I want anyone to type in, I am multiplying my money right now. When they got ready to multiply the fishes and loaves, what was one of the techniques that Jesus did, Prophet Kelly? He lifted it up. Okay, you're not at the house. <laughs> I know we're gonna we're gonna get the mics balanced here. <laughs> he lifted That's it up. Prophet? Yeah, yes, Prophetess Deborah. Yes, when Jesus began to uh, multiply multiply the love, but before he did that, he began to lift his eyes up. Lift his eyes up. And why do you think he was lifting up his eyes, Prophetess Deborah? Master Prophet, he was lifting his eyes up because he was closing his eyes of off of what the world was saying, and he was coming into a new consciousness of mindset, seeing what he wanted to see. Wow. 
And you know, that's very interesting because we could also begin to look, lifting up his eyes, as Reverend Ike would say, he was changing the vibration and looking in the realm from where supply would come. He was literally seeing it down from one realm into the next. What else did he do, Prophet Kelly, after he, he lifted up his eyes? Master Prophet, he blessed it. He blessed it. Yes. And see, that's what we were doing right now. Yes. That was a money blessing service. Yes. Yes. See, when you, may I? Yes, yes, you may. Because when you bless things, you speak good things about it. That's how you bless yes. things. <laughs> yes. And so we began to bless it. And, 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 and now some of you are going to notice that your money is going to respond differently to you this week because you've anointed your money this week. Some of you, this is the first time your money has been anointed all year. And Master Prophet, can I say also about the blessing? Yes. When you bless something, you're giving it permission to come to you. Mm. When you bless something, you give it permission to come what? The comment is an invitation to come to me. To invitation to come to you. Now, 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 I want you to grab this here, everyone. When you bless the money, you give it permission to increase in your life. Jesus. Because when he blessed it, then he break it and gave it. Once it is blessed, it is forced to multiply. See, some of you didn't even know that you were multiplying your money today in a most unusual way. So now we have just cultivated the feeling of money. So now we dealt with how important it is to become conscious of banks. Um, Prophet Tis Kelly, have you started becoming conscious of banks lately? Yes, Master Prophet. Amen. How about you, Prophet Cynthia? Yes, Master Prophet, definitely. Mm -hmm. Never pass a bank unconsciously. Now, Reverend I began to teach us that you have got to move into another law. And um, that is in Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 19 and 20. I want you to get that. Prophet Boyce, are you still there? Prophet Boyce, are you still there? Uh, put the sound back up for a moment, please. I wonder if the line dropped. Welcome to the audio conferencing system. The number of participants in the conference is 292. Okay. Um, those of you on the line, please um, stay with us there. Um, I wonder if that's coming through the line. Any moderators there at all? Yes, Master Prophet, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, Master Prophet, and I can hear the beeping of this phone as well. And you hear the beeping as well? Yes, Master Prophet. That means that somebody in line must have dropped. Prophet Deborah, are you still there? I said just unmute it, Master Prophet. You just unmute it, okay. Muting that. Okay, go ahead. And I will mute that microphone. Any other moderator that was on the line? Wow. This is an intense teaching today. It's so intense that we're going to declare that the heavens is speaking. Okay. So we're going to continue on teaching and they'll just lower the sound. I'm trying to think if I should put on hold. Okay. 
But this is, um, this is amazing. Now, what I was getting ready to say is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. Let's do verse 19, and we're going to also do verse 20. A 